Let me see your fucking ass! Let me see your fucking ass! Jump! Jump! Get the fuck! Get the fuck! How will you react if you see the passenger sitting beside you with a gun? Some people had to face this scenario in real life on June the 5th, 2023, when a 19-year-old young man had a BB pistol out in a team in front of the passengers. On that Sunday night at the San Ysidro Transit Center, a San Diego police officer shot and killed a man after he allegedly aimed what appeared to be a handgun at the officers. The incident took place around 9 p.m. at the trolley station located near San Ysidro Boulevard in close proximity to the U.S.-Mexico border. The sequence of events leading to the fatal shooting started a little before 9 p.m. The San Diego Police Department received a report about an armed man causing a disturbance on a trolley near the depot located in the 700 block of East San Ysidro Boulevard. The surveillance footage from the tram also shows the man dancing with his gun out and acting unstable. Witnesses have claimed to have seen him foaming at the mouth. At approximately 8.45 p.m., the surveillance footage from the MTS UC San Diego Blue Line captured the suspect, 19-year-old Mauricio Sanchez Ramos, exhibiting signs of erratic behavior and restlessness as he swayed back and forth in his seat on the trolley. In the following moments, the video portrays Ramos pulling out what resembled a gun from his waistband, alarming both passengers and the camera's lens. As the train approached its destination, the San Ysidro station, Ramos directed his attention toward the security camera and was seen pointing his gun at it. Where is he? He's right there? Where is he? In the evening at the San Ysidro station, trolley security personnel noticed a man holding what appeared to be a firearm. The security immediately informed the police through their communication system. Upon the police's arrival, trolley security guided them to the man's location. After the trolley car was stopped, they started to evacuate the passengers, and within minutes of passengers starting to evacuate, the San Diego officers reached the transit station and confronted the suspect, who was holding what seemed to be a firearm. Take a look at the footage. Where is he, where is he, in the middle? Yeah, he's right there. One at gunpoint, he's in the middle right now. They issued verbal warnings to the man, asking him to drop what they believed was a pistol. Later, it was confirmed to be a CO2 pellet gun designed to resemble a Glock pistol. But the man disregarded their warnings. The officer opened the doors and faced him. Once again, they asked him to immediately lower the presumed weapon and to put his hands above his head, but he disregarded their comments. Instead, he took steps forward, presenting a threat, and pointed the BB pistol in the direction of the officers. And you can guess what happened. In response to the threat, one of the officers discharged his rifle, resulting in the man being struck by multiple gunshots. Take a look at the body cam footage of the officer for yourself. Hey, let me see your fucking ass! Let me see your fucking ass! Shots were fired, and the 19-year-old collapsed down. A man proceeded to advance toward the officers while pointing the pellet gun at them and that led one officer to fire at least two rounds from his rifle. The man sustained multiple gunshot wounds and received medical attention from paramedics, including CPR. But unfortunately, he passed away at the transit station. A witness claimed they had heard up to six gunshots during the incident. After this unfortunate incident, deputies were in the process of collecting evidence, conducting interviews with witnesses, and scrutinizing the events leading up to the shooting. Several witnesses claim to have observed the suspect holding what appeared to be a firearm and behaving erratically. Once the Sheriff's Department concludes its investigation, the San Diego County District Attorney's Office will thoroughly review the findings. Their evaluation will aim to determine whether the officers involved in the incident hold any criminal responsibility for their actions. City Police! Hands up! Hey, I need to open the door right now. Open the door. Hey, I need to open the door right now. Do they have grounds to hold any criminal charges? Or did the officers do what they needed to do? What do you think? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. 
Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys soon.